This is a radio program, Voice from the Light, the Lighthouse. God has, been, God has been using this program to touch millions around the world. For those of you who are listening via the internet, welcome to this, your favorite program. Coming to you today from the Lighthouse Assembly, situated at 1 Ngabli Drive, Spanish Town, St. Catherine, Jamaica, West Indies. Our host bishop is Bishop Dr. R.J. Edwards. He's used mightily by God all over the world with miracles, signs, and wonders. This is Jermaine Edwards. May God bless you as you listen to this anointed program. Oh, Pastor Glenn Villetner, I said Barbican, God is ready for Barbican. That's right, God is ready for you another time, Barbican. Join Bishop Dr. R.J. Edwards and Pastor Glenn Villetner for the Barbican Day of Prayer and Fasting this Tuesday from 9 to 1 p.m. at the Lighthouse Assembly, 1 Federal Road, Barbican, Kingston. Come for your healing, deliverance, and your breakthrough. A powerful anointing awaits you. That's the Barbican Day of Prayer and Fasting this Tuesday from 9 to 1 p.m. at the Lighthouse Assembly, 1 Federal Road, Barbican, Kingston. A miracle awaits you. For more information, you can call 414-7553. That's 414-7553. Or 919-9829. That's 919-9829. Come one, come all to the Day Church in Spanish Town, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Join with hundreds in prayer every Wednesday. Come experience the new wave of God's glory. Come let's pray at the train station in Spanish Town. Come and receive the spoken word for your lunchtime break. Curses will be broken. Every yoke will be destroyed. Come let us pray. Come and receive fresh fire. That is at the Day Church in Spanish Town at the train station this and every Wednesday 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Lunchtime break is 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Come experience the raw glory of God with host Bishop Dr. R.J. Edwards. Stay tuned as I go to church. We have been preaching the word of God. Go with me in your Bible to the book of Mark chapter 6. Mark chapter 6. It's a very profound portion of scripture that is found in the holy volume. My theme for us today is walk on your waters. There are some people here today, you wonder what God is doing with you because he sent you. Some of you are on your way. You're doing God's will under the leadership of God's voice. God told you to go and when you're on your way, something serious started to happen. Some of you are serving God in spirit and in truth. And there is nothing wrong with your worship. And while you're worshiping, hell seems to have come upon you. You're under direct guidance of the almighty God. Can I tell somebody on today that God's eyes are on you? It might look like you are alone in your circumstances. But the eyes of God is on your life. I'm here to help somebody who's listening to me. The eyes of God is on your life. Jesus looked from a distance and saw that the disciples were struggling. I see him looking from a distance right now and see that somebody is struggling. Somebody is having a difficult time in your life. Remember, it was his disciples. We are God's people. And yet, he set us on a way and we're faced with troubles. Some of you, while you're praising God, you're faced with dilemmas. While you're in church, hell just don't want to leave you alone. It's not that you're not praying and fasting and seeking God's face. But hell just don't want to leave you alone. Your house is topsy-turvy. 
conditions are surrounding your house right now, woman. Your children have gone astray, yet you're serving God. Come on, tell somebody. It might look like I am alone, but I'm not alone. The eyes of the Lord is upon me. There are some neighbors who are talking about you because of what you're going through. Uh, some of your co-workers are talking about you because of your experiences. Some people see you on your boat and they notice that you're struggling. And some people have the audacity to ask where is your God? But I'm here to tell somebody that your God is watching. Let the boss say what he wants to say. Let your neighbors say what they want to say. Let your family members say what they want to say. But you have a God whose eyes are on. It looks rough and rugged. It looks tough and hard. But your God's eyes are on you. He's seeing you from a distance. And he's about to do something that is going to marvel you. Because when he's through, you're going to be fully delivered. You left your home to come here today with an intention, with a desire. And you made up your mind that you're going to praise God. I know some of you left your house out of order because the enemy has messed up some stuff. In your life, it seems as though you cannot make it through. It's like you're on a sea by yourself. Well, the Lord sent me here to build your faith. The Lord sent me here today to help you to mount up with wings like eagle. To run and not be weary. To walk and not faint. There is a pet that God is putting in your step. The enemy is laughing at you now. But tell them the man who laughed last is the one who laughed the best. Your weeping is enduring now for a night. But your tomorrow is on its way. Your weeping is enduring now. But tomorrow is coming. Your today is bad but your tomorrow is coming. I feel like somebody is eyes are filled with tears as you look at your situations as you consider your dilemma God says don't be afraid my eyes are on you can I tell somebody who is here today press along come on slap somebody tell them press along in God's own way persecution you must bear and trials and crosses gonna be in the way but the hotter the battle, the sweeter the victory. I hear somebody said, if I didn't have a problem, how I wouldn't know how God could solve them. But through it all, I've learned to trust God. I want somebody to know that God is with you right now. As the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so God surrounds his people. I feel like somebody is back is against the wall. Come on, sister. I'm talking to you. You have not paid your rent and uh, the landlord is on your back. And at the same time, your son uh, is acting up uh, and your daughter is acting up. And at the same time, your husband is kicking up dust in your face. Um, I, I can see what you're passing through as you sit sometimes at your bedside and you start to wonder, what did I do wrong? But the Lord sent me to tell you not to be afraid. The Lord sent me to tell you, if you have to cry, well, cry. But your weeping will soon be over. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I feel like somebody is listening to me. As you're driving down the road, or maybe you're sitting on the side of your bed, or somewhere your hand is at your jaw. If you could just lift your hands up and help me praise God, then something Thing is about to break uh, in the midst of your situation weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning it's like your car is shut off today you it's like you're struggling with a car you know i used to drive one of them old stick ship i couldn't buy a battery driving down the road uh, the car shut off and I want to get it started. I have to lift the bonnet and go in the engine and find something that is giving trouble and 
fix it. So when it's time to get it started, I have to get somebody to give me a jumper cable. And I got to connect it from one engine to another. And sometimes when I try to crank it, it don't work. I see some men passing down the street. I said, sir, can you give me a push? And they came along the way and they pushed the car until it gets started. Well, I'm here today to give you a push. Talk. The praise and worship team tries to give you a jump start and it wouldn't crank. Your praise didn't crank. But I'm here to give you a push. Talk. Well, can I tell you who is the push starter today? The Holy Ghost. Can you put your hand on somebody's shoulder and tell them God is giving you a push start? I feel you mounting up now. I feel your engine cracking up. I hear you. You're pushing on your accelerator. I feel like somebody start moving. Let your enemies see you moving. They thought you were finished with. They figured you were over. They thought that you were done with. But thank God you're moving again. Somebody is opening their mouths. And they're moving again. With your hands lifted. And your mouth filled with praise. And your heart filled with thanksgiving. You're saying God I will bless thee. I feel like somebody just got lifted up. I feel like somebody's mounting up. I see you traveling, sister. I see you moving. The devil have you parked for long. You had a hard time praying. And you had a hard time seeking the face of God on your knees. Because the devil had you bound. But I see you being lifted up today. I see you mounting up with wings like eagles. Can you put your hand like you're flying? Because somebody is flying. Uh, higher than yesterday's sin somebody's flying higher above your enemies uh, your enemies have your lockdown but now is your flying time the Holy Ghost is in here I'm here to tell somebody that I'm lifting you up the Holy Ghost uh, is empowering you there's an empowerment uh, come on can you put your hand uh, on your belly and say God uh, is empowering me uh, and now that you feel uh, that you're being empowered uh, well release some power open your mouth and shout uh, some of you at your house uh, put your hand on your belly some of you driving down the road uh, put your hand on your belly some of you at your workplace Put your hand on your belly. God is empowering you. The witch is being dead. The powers of darkness is being killed. Witchcraft and powers of evil is being condemned. You're not going under. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, the wicked, the wicked, the devil, the powers of evil himself come to eat up my flesh he's tumbled and fall the Lord is with me the God of Jacob is my refuge somebody open your mouth and praise God shout your hallelujah if you're one of them who are passing through the valley of the shadow of death you got God's angels with you there are some devils that followed you come here but now they are fleeing they're feeling fire somebody said fire some demons at your house they are feeling fire some of them that driving behind you trying to follow you to workplace they are feeling fire some of you in your bedroom and they are signing some demons at your house fire somebody is a fire 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 for the wicked fire for the powers of hell lift your hands and shout amen and some of them evil spirits following you around. Tell them to touch God's chosen people. There are some of you who have left some at your house. Pike your hand where your house is. And said, demons, I'm coming back stronger. I'm coming back more powerful. I'm coming back armed and dangerous. I left my house with an M16. But I'm coming back with an AK-47 kind of power. I feel like I feel like somebody overcoming something. I feel like somebody bossing up something. If you just open your mouth and begin to boss something up. 
Boss it up, boss it up. I see demons fleeing, sister. They can't take this kind of pressure. They can't take this kind of anointing. But my head is anointed with oil. And my cup runneth over. And surely goodness and mercy is following me. All the days of my life, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. For the rest of my life, they want to get rid of you. But now they are declaring, what a hard man for dead. They are saying, what a hard woman to die. Because every time you come to church, you get more power. You leave church with anointing in your hands, anointing in your feet. If you leave some demons at your house, grab some anointing in your hand and dash it at your yard. One of us shall chase a thousand and two of us shall put ten thousand to fly. It's not by might, not by power, but by the Holy Spirit. Them think you did done. I'm ready, you're ready. And you're just a comma. Real fire, real glory, real anoint. I'm glad to say you in not mix up in a no good zone. The Bible says, who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Those that has clean hands and pure in heart. You know, tan like some of them who go down to Egypt, go mix up themselves and mix up themselves in a witchcraft. Tell them, devil, say them I touched the wrong somebody. Because your hand clean, you know, mix up in another dirty something. Some people in this country you know and kill off people with a witchcraft but are sending a dynamite into your chest. You wicked Obia worker. I send a dynamite, you better change your heart. Come over on this side and help me preach gospel. Because on a wicked, if one can't see people good, good picnic. I want to kill them off when they're wicked. When they say the woman are prosper. And because when they say the woman are prosper. When they come with no guzzle. And go spend money to kill half the woman. And cause her to have breast cancer. And cause her to have all different kind of sickness. I send a blow back to the sender. This man of God under the heart of Spanish town. I'm sending a blow back to the sender. Some of you who is under the influence of witchcraft, grab this anointing now. Send it back to the man or the woman who sent the blow to you. Open your mouth and declare it that I shall not die, but I shall live. And I shall declare the works of the Lord your God. Witches and warlocks, they may feel something. They are in trouble because your head is anointed. Come on, put your hand over your head. Those of you that are hearing my voice, put your hand over your head. I feel something happening right now. The forces of evil is running away from you because they can't take the pressure anymore. They have Harder them come out of the harder than them fall. Who God bless, no man curse. I feel like somebody killing some demons and some devils that has an assignment. Lift your hands and praise God with me. the forces of hell is backing off you come on those of you right now who can shout hallelujah something is backing up come on the eyes of the Lord is on your life somebody shout a praise open your mouth and glorify God some of you going to feel like you want vomit but vomit don't move from somebody and vomit because something inside of you are burned out right now some people have the audacity to put something on your drink to kill you, but you shall not die. Vomit out anything the enemy has put upon you in the name of Jesus. I feel like somebody cup is full right now and running on. The atmosphere is charged with the glory. There's a zone right now in Spanish town called zone of special operation there's a zone right now in this church called the zone of the anointing that if you come across here whatever is in your body that is holding you down you got to be loosed you got to be delivered if you're in this zone just open your mouth and praise god 
If you're in the zone, bust a loud praise. Get your victory and your breakthrough. Somebody open your mouth and shout a hallelujah. I'm here to tell somebody. It might be the midnight of your night. But one minute after 12 is the next day. Your day is about to begin now. Whatever time is on your clock. It could be your midnight. But your day is about to break. In the next minute. The next minute speaks of a new day. Which means the next 60 seconds. You're going to step into a new light. Because who is there? Jesus is in the middle of your situation. The Bible said his eyes were on them as he saw them struggling in the midnight. In the circumstances of their life, they were struggling. Now you're getting help today. Your helper has come. Your deliverer is in the house. And I saw Jesus. And he came in a unique way. I don't know how deep the sea was underneath him, but he said, I'm coming in a special style. I like how Jesus come in style to deliver his people. Sometimes he delivered them in a fiery furnace that the king had to say, didn't we throw three men? But now we see the fourth man looking like the son of God. And sometimes he walk into the lion's den and he saw Daniel in there and he delivered him. Sometimes when they throw the three men into the fiery furnace, they said, didn't we throw three men? Now how come we seeing four? He likes to step into your circumstances. And so I see him right now stepping on the waters. He defy the whole aspect of gravity. He's the one that makes water and he can turn water into road. So the disciples saw him walking on the water and he was just teaching them a message and giving them a lesson. He said, hello, I mimic this. Me can turn water into wine as much as I can turn water into road. I can walk and see and I can close see and I can walk and see some of you have some water your yard like it want to drown you but the king of kings and the lord of lords is walking on your water he has turned your water into road he's about to transform your condition that seems to want to drown you the same water that wanted to drown the disciples he now turned it into road while he turned it into road. What was he saying? I'm coming. He said, I'm coming. He's right here now. Your water has been turned into road. Jesus is walking on it. Why he did that? He did that to open your understanding that your water don't have to be water. It can turn solid like a rock. Your water can be transformed and you are going to walk on it too. But he comes to ease the pressure from your life. The pressure of your circumstances are being lifted right now. They saw him and they were troubled. And immediately he talked with them and said, be of good courage. Be not afraid. Somebody hear God talking to you today. He says, don't be afraid. I am with you. Oh, though it looks like the mountain has been brought before you and it looks like uh, the earthquake is shaking underneath you. God says, don't be afraid. God said to tell somebody he's with you. Call Pastor Glenn Villain and I said Barbican. God is ready for Barbican. That's right. God is ready for you another time, Barbican. Join Bishop Dr. R.J. Edwards and Pastor Glenville Lidner for the Barbican Day of Prayer and Fasting this Tuesday from 9 to 1 p.m. at the Lighthouse Assembly, 1 Federal Road, Barbican, Kingston. Come for your healing, deliverance, and your breakthrough. A powerful anointing awaits you. That's the Barbican Day of Prayer and Fasting this Tuesday from 9 to 1 p.m. at the Lighthouse Assembly, 1 
Federal Road, Barbican, Kingston. A miracle awaits you. For more information, you can call 414-7553. That's 414-7553. Or 919-9829. That's 919-9829. Come one, come all to the Day Church in Spanish Town, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Join with hundreds in prayer every Wednesday. Come experience the new wave of God's glory. Come let's pray at the train station in Spanish Town. Come and receive the spoken word for your lunchtime break. Curses will be broken. Every yoke will be destroyed. Come let us pray. Come and receive fresh fire. That is at the Day Church in Spanish Town at the train station this and every Wednesday 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Lunchtime break is 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Come experience the raw glory of God with host Bishop Don. Dr. R.J. Edwards. Well, we thank you tonight for tuning in to Voice from the Lighthouse with your radio host, Bishop R.J. Edwards. And I'm reminding you that great things are taking place in Spanish Town. The power of God is in operation and the anointing is destroying yokes and setting captive free. Hear me, I'm glad for those of you who are tuned into this broadcast every Monday night and the power of God is hitting you. You've been telling me about it as I pass you on the street or when I preach at your church. You tell me how much God has used me to be a blessing to you. Well, could you join me please if you don't have a church home every Sunday morning at 7 a.m. for the first service at the train station and then the second service starts at 9 a.m. at one goblet drive in Spanish Town. It's going to be great. But more than all i want you to join me on the tuesday night every tuesday night it is bible study and mountain moving prayer services hear me it's going to be great this tuesday and it's going to be great this coming sunday morning hey i want you to be with me in this service the service on sunday morning starts at 7 a.m at the train station and 9 a.m at one goblet drive in spanish town on every Tuesday night, we start the service at 7 o'clock right here at One Goblet Drive in Spanish Town. And the power of God is always in operation. Also want you to know that every Wednesday we meet at the train station for prayer and fasting. People are coming from everywhere just to be a part of these great services. And hear me, if you come, you're going to be blessed. I tell you, come be prepared to be healed. The anointing of God is moving through the atmosphere. There's a wind of change that has come over, and every one of you need to be a part of it. This Wednesday, the service begins at 9 a.m. at the train station. I'm looking forward to have you. The power of God will be in operation. I'm looking forward to seeing these services and hope that God's blessings will be yours.